So if you wanted to control the LCD1602 um, using STM32F1 in a few simple line of code, I think this is example is good for you because we are going to use a library that will show you how to make this happen quite very easily. So stay tuned and follow us. This example is inspired from the STM32F1 series where we created the whole library for the LCD display from scratch. So if you are interested to know how this LCD is working in, in depth, I quite advise you to take a look on them. I added the link in the description. This is a real example and you will get how to control a 1602 LCD using an I2C library. So as usual, the code that we are going to share is available on GitHub. You can find the link in the description below. The language we are going to use is C. The program to code is scale. And finally, the library is quite very easy and the level required for here is just a beginner. So the hardware that we are going to use, as usual, the STM 32F1 based board, which is aka Blue Pill. And then we are going to need the 1602 LCD screen. Finally, there is the I2C 8-bit expander, which is the PCF8574 board. And that's a board that is really available on uh, Amazon or uh, AliExpress for a very cheap price. Okay, so let's take a quick look on the board. So first of all, we do have this jumper that controls the LCD backlight. I quite advise you not to remove this one and keep it like it is. Then this is our chip, so I'll try to not to remove it from the board. And after that, there's this jumper that can change the uh, address. So just careful if you'd like to solder this one, um, the, the code will not be working as the address is different. But if you would like to make it work, you can take a look on the tutorials on how we build this library. So it will be quite easy to change it. Finally, there's the potentiometer that controls the con contrast of the display. Um, you may need to change it a little bit to, to, to see uh, the display messages, as it usually comes in the minimum position, so you can see nothing. So before we jump to the code, this is uh, the, the, um, the uh, board and the LCD together. And one advice, so when if you buy, buy them separately, just solder in this way, not the opposite one. Okay, it's quite simple and easy, but I've seen some people doing it different way and it uh, created just a mess. To connect with the STM32F1, it's quite simple, easy and straightforward. We are going to use the I2C2 peripheral and then we are going to use um, the PB11 for the SDA and PB10 for the clock. Okay, so now we have been seeing all that we need to see in theory. We can jump to the code and make the display. As usual, if you enjoy this channel and you'd like to support such content, you just subscribe and give us a thumbs up. Okay, so let's take a quick look on our circuit, a very simple one. So here, let me bring it. And so this is our LCD display. As you can see, we do have four wire connected to our STM32F1 for the I2C2 com peripheral communication. And the display now, when we just put it in the, um, you just put it in the pins, it just show an empty display. Okay, so let's um, go to the code and discover it together. So this is a commented code that we are going to, to see one by one. We are going to use the LCD1602 libraries, and this is the library that we used for the eight um, wire communication and four wire communication. Here we do have the libraries and the driver that we need to make this happen. And now we can go to the code. And just for information, so if you'd like to use the I2C2, it's a PB10 and PB11, where the if you are going to use the I2C1, this is PB6 and PB7 as a pin for con connections. Then let's go quickly to our code, which is really simple. So first of all, this is our code. So this is taking it to just a function that initializes and prepare the delay functions. And then let's go to the init function so let's bring this one here so the init function is the one that initializes the i2c communication with the pcf uh, 8464 uh, 74 but also it's also prepared to work for the lcd to a certain way and if you would like to know more there is um, quite a good tutorial uh, for the 1602 that explains all in details so and you just need to add here the um, peripheral that you are going to use is quite simple then we do have the uh, usual function that we have which is the display the lcd i2c message so this function let me add a new 
row here. I think that's make more sense. So this one is showing like here is the I2C we would like to use. And this one is the row where we would like to display our message. Here the position within the row and here the message. So if I save build and let me bring also this one. Let's make it a little bit smaller like this. So and if I load the code, we should see welcome to the and if I change a little bit my code and put the row number two, so this is for you to see how it works. You can see that we go to row number two. Exactly same for the next one. So if I remove this command and remove this one too, and I save, build and load. So you can see welcome to the wheel exactly what I expected to have. But just to, to see how this position is controlled, so if I move this one to zero, you can see that the wheel will be to the extreme left, as you can see like this. But let's bring it back to six. Okay, so we almost finished. It's quite, as you can see, quite very simple. But next one, next function that we can, I would like to share with you, which is quite helpful, is this function, the LCD blank. LCD blank will wipe out everything and give you a white or not a white actually a blank LCD again so if we save and let me just move this annoying noise and if we make it smaller so let's save build and load you can see that it became blank exactly after that so this is quite nice if you like to display other messages later on so what we can do is just and comment everything here to show you what will happen. So our code will start first of all by just reversing the lines of welcome to the wheel. So we will see welcome, so actually wheel welcome to the and then welcome to the wheel. It was just you are reversing the lines. It's a good exercise to see how to display the messages. So if I save here and build you can see now that's kind of toggling and that's that's all so you see with this library you can do whatever display you want so i hope you really enjoyed this one and you could um use it for a useful project and hope you hope for you a very good day thank you